It's Pam at Pink Dragonfly Wings here with another episode. Actually, it's not another episode. It's a part two to our working with envelopes. And um, in part one, we did this little envelope. I think this is the one that I already had made. And this was our prototype. And this is the one that we actually made in the, in the video. We put our little tree on the back and yeah that's the one that we made in our video put our little paper clip up here okay this was the part of the envelope that has the window on it so that was from part one this is part two and we're going to do one like this this one has a an uploading uh, pocket with a little tag in the back and so we're gonna do this one today out of the other half of our envelope and I this is not actually tomorrow from that video um, I've had some other other life things have come in the way so it's been a while, but I'm not uh, posting videos right now, so when they finally do get posted, this will be the next week after the last one. So this is part two of working with envelopes, and we're going to work with the part that we cut off last time that does not have the window on it. So this is going to be completely covered just like this one. And I'm wanting to use this for my dark forest, and I love love this piece of paper from uh, Louisa Heinzel and uh, you can go on her Etsy store uh, and kind of take a look at this it has all kinds of cool little funky critters and things in there and I thought that might be kind of cool to put in my dark forest book so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna cover this on the front and uh, so we'll cut this to cover the front and then we will do the back so but i need to move it down enough so that when we put our little slot in there it doesn't cut off our little doggy boo's head here okay so now this is a piece of paper that i made it's called mommy gammy paper and um i'm gonna this is my first time to actually use the paper so we're gonna find out if it works, if it glues okay, and uh, all of that kind of thing. If we have good success here, I'll do a video on how I made this and share that with y'all. And um, there we go. So let's get started on this little thing. And I am going to cut this little part off here. This was a misprint of a page. Uh, but, you know, we as junk journalers never throw away anything. So even though it didn't print the way it was supposed to, I kept it anyway, and I thought, I'll save this little piece, and then we'll have our little piece here for our for our little doll. So what we're going to do is um, I'm going to eventually glue this side down, but I don't want to do that yet because it makes it easier to put this little uh, half moon nubbin pull in there so I'm going to cover the front and we're going to cover it first and uh, kind of hold it up here in my in the lot and uh, that's gonna I can see through it this paper is kind of thin so I can see through it to see where it's going to land when I get ready to cut my little little pull tab thing out so I'm going to put some glue up here and I was going to refill this today because it's about half full and it takes forever for that glue to get down to the bottom to be able to squeeze out there we go so I'm going to put this right here on the side and then we'll do the top part And then we'll do the bottom part and we'll see how this works. Okay, so we're going to fold that up there, close that down. 
And I don't want to use a bone folder or anything because this paper is supposed to be crinkly. And I want it to have those crinkles in it. I don't want to bone folder them out. So, but we're going to see how this, how this glues on this paper. This paper has oil in it. So that's why I have some, some questions and concerns about how well it's going to stick. And then we're going to see how it does and go from there. So this may be a huge success or a huge failure. Not sure which, but we're going to give it a go. Okay. Now then, I do have some edges on all of these sides, but before I do that, I'm going to cut off the top part, or I'm not going to cut it off. Yeah, I think I'll cut it off. And uh, do the top. I was thinking, how would that do if I folded that down, but that's going to cut it out anyway. So I don't really think that's going to make that much difference. I'll just fold it over and then we'll decide after we cut it. That'll work a little better. Just fold it over. And let me find my little hole punch thing. Or not a hole punch. It's a circle punch. And I am going to do about halfway and make a little um, if I can figure out where halfway is. We're going to do this. And we're going to put it about right here. it off. Awesome. Been having trouble with this little hole punch or whatever this is. Uh, circle punch lately. It's gotten kind of dull and doesn't want to work very well but but that's okay. That's okay. We got it figured out. So uh, now we can go ahead and let's go ahead and cut this off up here seems to be sticking very well with this. Uh, this is Fabri-Tac glue that I use. And um, I use it when I'm dealing with lace and fabric and all that kind of stuff. So I thought maybe that it would work with this pretty well too. And I am going to reinforce up here at the top because I didn't get it quite to the edge. on that side. So let's kind of see how that goes. And then I'm going to cut this off a little bit down here just because it'll give me a smooth edge all the way around. All, all the way around our envelope. Now I'm going to cut off a little piece here about the width of the envelope. And I'm going to put it on the back. Excuse me. Okay, I'm going to put it right here and cut that off. And then I'm going to glue this to the back here so that you can see this through that hole. Let's try putting it on the right direction. So that the hole does is not ugly and obtrusive. You know. I want it to look pretty. So we're going to glue that just like that so that it, it ha it's covered when your tag is out of the out of the pocket. So let's do that. And then we can glue this tag up or this pocket up and see what we're going to be able to do here. So I'm going to put it, the good thing about this fabric tack, it does give you just ever so slightly a little bit of wiggle room before it fully adheres. And that makes it easier to actually make sure you're in the right spot. So, all right, so we have that. It's not stuck together, so that's good. We're going to glue this side down here. gotten that 
just a little bit too close to the edge, but I did not, so there we go. So what I'm going to do here on the back is I'm going to fold this up, and I'm going to cover it like this was a um, a book, a, a cover, a front cover, a book cover. And so I'm just going to glue this down and glue this over. And then that way, the sides of our pocket are wrapped. And it makes it, it just makes it look a little, um, just a little more finished, maybe. And, and then I'll take this one and we'll put this right here. And we'll pull this side up. And then we'll put this glue these sides here and pull those up. And it doesn't have to really match or anything because we're going to cover all this up anyway. Um, so I just want to make sure that the, the corners see are flush and nice so that it looks like a pointed color corner. I, I hope you can see that. So then we'll do this side. And stick this one over. Make sure our corners are nice and square. And glue that down. Okay, so there's the front of our little little pocket. <laughs> that little dog just looks so dang cute. I just can't get over it. I just think, oh, that is just so cute. So, on the back, we're going to just use some book page that has been coffee dyed, and we're going to kind of collage it, so I'm going to tear these pieces apart, and, uh, you know, I don't particularly like white space, so I'm going to pull that off. We'll tear us a few pieces, and do another one over here. this last one. I'm going to leave the edges on it because I think it'd be a little too narrow if I don't. So I'll cut this one off though. Alrighty, so we're going to not worry that these go to the bottom because we've got it covered here. So it doesn't have to go right up flush with the bottom or the edges. So that'll be cool. I can kind of pull this off just, just slightly, just a little bit. We can put some glue on it. And we can start collaging. We'll start right down here. And like I said, it's okay if these edges show. That That's cool. That's fine. Okay, we'll get another one here and put it up. Goodness, it, it landed upside down. Now, I am going to, because this is white right here, I'm going to extend this over just a little bit so it does stick out ever slightly so that I can cut that off and all of the white will be covered. These three sides are fine, but this one up here, we want to make sure it's covered. So, uh, we're going to extend it just a little bit. see. Just a little bit there to extend it. And then, um, cover this up here. And then we're just going to continue to collage this. So, 
I hope everybody is doing well. Yesterday was my husband's three-week anniversary from his wonderful accident where he broke his hip. And uh, so he's doing really good. The doctors are very impressed with him and his progress. And uh, he was receiving physical therapy two times a week that came to the house. But uh, this week when they came, they said he's doing so good that they're going to put him back to just once a week. So that's cool. And he really is. He's very determined. He does those exercises like a crazy man. <laughs> Tear that one in half so it makes a little different size. And so, yeah, he sits in there in his chair and he's learned how to fix himself a snack. He feels bad because I'm having to do everything for him. So he has figured out that he can go to the pantry and he can get some crackers and he can get himself some dip. He puts the dip in a little bowl with a lid on it. And uh, he can put it in his pocket, in the pocket of his pajamas. And he carries the crackers in his mouth and gets his own snack. So he doesn't have to wait for me to come and give it to him. So I thought that was pretty cute. When I saw him doing it the first time, I said, well, where, where, where's your dip? You've got some crackers, but where's your dip? And he said, it's in my pocket. So... That's kind of become our our running joke. I ask him all the time, so what you got in your pocket? And it'll be something. Sometimes it's a cookie or something. He hasn't quite mastered how to um, walk with his walker and carry something at the same time. So he can stand at the counter and do something. Oh, let's put that one up. Let's put that one sideways. Let's try to get around this way. And he does pretty good. But it has been an adventure, let me tell you. So I think I'll put the glue on this side because that side has a little bit more coffee design on it. And I like that. So I'm going to put that right there. And then I like this one. So we'll put this one down. And we've covered our little, our little back of our little pocket. Now, I go ahead and decorate these. Um, I think I said in the last video, I'm going to cut this off here at the top now. So that it's flush. You don't see those little jagged pieces sticking out. have some extra pieces left so we'll put those in our our nubbin pile for next time we'll get our uh, yep make sure I'm getting the right ink we're gonna ink around this and our mommy gimme paper seems to be doing quite well I'm very impressed with that and I love this I should love this paper so I will do a video on how to do that. I'm going to touch on this just slightly because the ink will will catch on those crinkles on the paper and kind of darken it up just a little bit. And I think that, that makes it look a little better to me. Um, so then we'll come back. We'll do this side. around this and then I'm going to also kind of catch some of these edges of this paper kind of darken that up a little bit make it you know white paper and I just don't don't 
jihaw together very well. I just can't do it when it's black. I don't know why. But, okay. So, there's our little little pocket. And now we need, uh, we need a little piece to make us a tag. So, I've got little pieces of glue and who knows what else on my fingers now. So, we're going to measure this. This is about... Um, almost three and a quarter, let's say three and a half, by four, four and a quarter. So, we'll do our tag at about three and a quarter, because we did glue down that side just a little bit. So, we'll cut that down there. And did I say? Yep. Four and a quarter. Yep, that be the place. And then we'll do this one. And we want it to stick out a little bit. So let's do it at five and then we'll see. Um, we'll see if that's good enough. Let me get my little cutter here. I forgot to get that. And we will cut that down that back up there for another day and we can always cut off a little more if it's too long it's really kind of hard to add more if it's too short so let's give it a test run here and put that cut down in there and I like the width but I think it's too long I'm going to cut off a little bit more off of that width, that height, and make it about like that. Okay, that'll be a lot better. But it would have been nice if I'd have cut it straight. Of course, y'all know that straight, straight lines are not in my vocabulary. I just can't seem to do them. But I think I got that one pretty good. Okay. So now we will do the tops. And we'll do some kind of, let's use, let's use this corner puncher thing, corner chomper. And let's, let's use this thing. And I'm only going to do the tops. I'm not going to do the bottom. I think the bottom will slide down in there better if it's uh, even. We might could even get, um, let's see. You know, I waited all this time for this wonderful, wonderful craft room. And so I could keep up with my stuff. I don't know where it went. Anyway, we'll do it at another time. All right, so here's our tag. This is what it's going to fit down in here. Oh, now it fits just perfect, but we're going to leave it up just a slightly a little bit. Okay, so there's our tag. And we're going to ink around the edges. find here to decorate this with. Okay, so I am going to kind of scuff it up just a little bit so it's not quite so in your face. There we go. And there's our, there's our deal. Now then, uh, we have this. Let's get some stickers here and I know the other day when we were looking I saw a real pretty red tree in here and I think that would match with our little dog's um, 
dress. So let's see if we can find something in this tree. Oh, there's pretty leaf, red leaves. And that might look pretty. I kind of like that. Let's see if we can find something maybe to go on our that one's awfully big. I think that one's way too big for our little card. So let's see what else we can find. And oh, there's that little tree that I saw. I think that one would work perfect in there. Perfect, perfect. Okay, let's ink this up a little bit. And we're just going to, this is just a little, it's a piece of paper. It is not a sticker. Um, I got a page that had a whole page full of trees on it. And so I kind of sat one night watching TV and fussy cut those out and uh, use them in my, my little books just like stickers, except they have to be glue. But that's okay. We can do that. We have glue. Okay. We need some kind of little something here. Let's see if we can grow. some red. This is sorry silk, and uh, I have it in all kinds of colors. And I love working with this stuff. It's just awesome. It has a good feel to it. It ravels and makes cool fringe on the side and it makes awesome little tabs. So I'm going to get it pulled apart here and put that on there and I think that will look perfect with our little tag and pocket here. I'm going to put a little bit of this on here because I'm going to kind of, I'm going to put it down but I'm going to kind of bunch it a little bit too, so that it it kind of, there we go, okay, so it just kind of gathers right there, then we'll turn it over here and put just a little bit on this one, and do the same thing, we're going to touch it down, Let's put a little bit over here that's not doing what I want it to. And then we'll scrunch it together a little bit. And that just makes it not so so wide here on the on the bottom. So okay, we'll let that dry a little bit. And that will be our little tag to go inside here. There we go. Now we need to put a little bit of something something here on our thing. I was going to try to put this little tag here that came off of the original piece of paper. And I thought, well, that would look really cute. So I'm going to put this on here. This under here. I just don't know. I really like that leaf. I just don't know if I like it for this tag. It 
Maybe I don't. I think we need to use something else. Maybe, let me step away just for a second. I'll be right back. And let's look in our mushroom book. Maybe we can find something in here that's, um, oh, there's a pretty mushroom right there. I just don't want to cover up our little puppy dog's face. Let's see what else we have in here. That one may be a little big. Now there's one that would maybe work pretty good. just don't know I'm so want to protect the little dog on the front of this and that one might work better what do y'all think Let's see if we have anything else here oh this one's a little smaller that might look better look at that that looks much better it's not quite so um, overwhelming. So we'll put that one on there. And we'll put our little tag. Okay, so let's put this on here. Kind of grungy up that little mushroom a little bit. This. And I wonder why I get glue on my fingers. And then why I get it everywhere else. That might be why. So, oh, I like that. That's cute. Okay. And now we need a word. And I forgot where I put my words. And where did I put my words? Right here. Let's see what kind of word we could find here. Um, hmm. Here's one. The rush of fresh air. It on there that would work put it right on there and put this down here there we go I like that mountain air cleanses the soul but we're gonna put it in a forest book so fresh air and sunshine kind of like that one better okay so we'll do that one we'll put a little bit of ink around the edges of this and a little glue on the back wrinkles in the mamagami paper. And we'll put that one right there. There we go. Okay. And then we have our pocket. So it's all ready to go in our book. Now, this could be um, clipped in to your journal. Um, let's see, where's my journal? We have this little journal right here. We could, let's see if we can find a, like, 
you could clip it in right here right here you could clip it in I'm, I don't even know if you can see that clip it in up here you could just lay it in here clip it to the side and have a nice little little uh, little pocket you could glue it down if you wanted it permanently in your book you could glue it down there this back is not a fancy back it's not expensive paper or something so you could certainly glue it down if you chose to do so that is entirely up to you and uh, and what you want to do with it and what it looks like in your journal so there we go our first little pocket made with mommy gummy paper look in the future near future and I will have a video on how to make this paper and show you how I did it and uh, I think you'll like it I have quite a few pages of it here and so I can show you the pages that I have here and they're just just pieces of pretty paper that that I've done and I'll show you how we did this so check back with us later and we'll we'll do a new thing and see what you think about that so anyway for now thank you for joining me I'm sorry that uh, took me a while to get back to this but in your time it will just be a week so uh, that's not too bad <laughs> not too bad for me at this time in my life so anyway you can add more decorations if you want you can add less you can add none whatever um, it's up to you so uh, I'll see you next time check out my my online store at pink dragonfly wings with a z.com and also if you like the video and you like what you see please like and subscribe and uh, share with your friends I need help getting out there so so let your friends know how wonderful this is okay Thank you so much for stopping by, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, dear friends.